Germany is defeated. April 1945. The German army is in tatters. It is a shattered force. The German industry has been bombed into oblivion and its people are dying. The Reich cannot fight for much longer. In reality, things will be over within a month. All the vast emptiness. Yeah, yeah, I could take a hint. However, this is not reality. This is Hearts of Iron 4 and I intend to do better. So everything you come to expect with a few extra twists. We are suffering from a shattered Wehrmacht. Well, that's not good. Allied bombing raids, not great. And mass disloyalty. Oof. Before you know it, Steiner is going to refuse to counterattack. Well, everything here is pretty terrible. So we have less than a million manpower available on scraping the barrel. We are on total mobilization. We got Goebbels, Speer, Himmler. Most of this is pretty, pretty oof. Let's get rid of Speer and get uh, Funk. For focuses, I don't think it matters, but we'll try the German-Swedish trade agreement because if it works, I'll have access to some Swedish stuff for free. And, well, other things aren't really going to work out. Now, for the decisions, we have a couple of missions running here on timers. Operation Hannibal is the evacuation of all uh, troops stuck in the Courland pocket and in the Prussian pocket. In reality, this was a mass evacuation of German troops and civilians from Prussia using what remains of the Kriegsmarine, which <laughs> at this point is not a lot. Maybe Maybe if we can last for 28 days, I can pull these troops out. They are veteran divisions, fairly well equipped, so it would be good if we could pull that off. And just like tanks are going to be what wins us this campaign, well, if it can be one, tanks are the main feature of our sponsor today, War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. You can play with more than 2,000 different tanks, planes, helicopters, and ship, and all in very dynamic combined arms PvP battles. Every vehicle is incredibly detailed and modeled down to the individual components for some peak immersion. And best of all, it's free. You can play now on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation free. That's my favorite word, free. So if you want to support the channel, please check out the link down below to receive a large free bonus pack, including multiple premium vehicles and premium account boosters and much more for your enjoyment. Festung Holland. Do I want to defend Holland for 60 days? Don't don't think so. The Vienna offensive. Can I hold on to Vienna? No. <laughs> no, definitely not. Hold Berlin. I think I can do that one. 43 days. I intend to hold Berlin until it's the last thing I do. Battle of Heilbronn. Stuttgart is is no. Operation Grape Shot. Do I want to save Mussolini? I'm sorry, Mussolini, but nope. And then defend Munich. Probably no as well. So, a couple of things we can also do here. Scenario settings. We can remove all modifiers or just the negative modifiers or just hold on to all of them. Now, the purists will say you have to do it with all the modifiers. And I agree. However, I'm also human and this is not easy. This is ridiculously hard. And I want to see if I can do it by just removing the negative modifiers. So, no allied bombing raids, no shattered Wehrmacht, and no mass disloyalty. And then if this works out, I'll try again at a later date when I've figured some things out about the mod and try it the full Monty. So we're going to remove all negative modifiers. I've tried. I've tried a dozen times already. I can't do it with the negative modifiers. I just can't. We still have a little bit of Lilica power. Let's get radio propaganda and domestic film industry. War bonds, I guess. And uh, women in the workforce. Who needs stability anyway? But I think I want to hold the line between Hamburg, Magdeburg and Dresden and between Stettin and Dresden. I'm going to give up everything else. These divisions are shattered. The Reich is as good as dead. There is no more mighty German army and we're up against a lot of people. Every defensible position that you could have set up, like the Rhein here, has been breached. The Oder is about to be breached. The Vistula, like there, there is no more fallback. What I'm also going to do, and this is a pretty neat trick, I'm going to take divisions that are at very, very low strength. Like these guys are at 30% fighting strength. They are virtually useless. I'm going to start consolidating until I have combat effective units that can actually fight. It's rather, I'd rather have one full strength divisions and three divisions at less, at, at, at like a quarter of their strength. I'm also going to talk to Pavlich here and tell him he's on his own, but I will be um, requisitioning what's left of his army and will be withdrawing with those as well as everybody else. These Festung divisions, yeah, they're gone. Bye-bye. I could leave them there to die. I'd rather have the manpower instead of the distraction. There are forces in Crete and the Dodecanese. Uh, let's also delete these. I get all of the stuff back. And 
Norway will hold on for as long as we can. So we'll put a couple of divisions here to block the Soviets and then make sure every port tile is guarded. I expect naval invasions. We'll see. Air Force. The Air Force is a shattered husk of what it used to be. So again, we'll be merging air wings and consolidating everything in Berlin. Navy. Unternehmen Hannibal. These ships will hopefully pull my troops out and I will strengthen them with whatever remains of my surface fleets. I'm going to split off all the submarines. Submarines should never be in a surface fleet. It just ruins the whole thing. And the remaining submarines will put in port in Kiel. Surface fleet can stay in Stettin for now. Construction. I'm going to need a lot of mills and I'm going to need a lot of synthetic fineries in whatever territory we expect to still control once this is done. Such as it is. Uh, I think that's really all I can do. Maybe some radar would, would help with our air stuff. You know, maybe some radar would not be a terrible idea. As for production, I'll need to figure out what my divisions really need because these are horrible historical templates where I'll need to streamline everything, but I, I need to take a look at how things stand once I can pull my army out. But the main things will be I need infantry equipment, artillery, and support equipment. Everything else is a nice bonus, but that is what I absolutely need. We aren't making any tanks, so we should put some mediums into production until we can get modern armor. Again, these are nice to haves, but no guarantee that we'll ever be able to, you know, make, make enough of them. This is all going to be academic in the end if I don't survive, so we'll have to see. As for research, the guns, obviously. Nothing here speaks to me. Support equipment, everything pretty much done. It could use armor trains because they're going to get blown up, and I might want to use maintenance companies to steal more stuff. Artillery is pretty much done. Let's grab that advanced artillery upgrade, and then for production, either the advanced stuff from our synthetics only takes 33 days, and then we'll uh, lean into making what's left of our industry work by picking these down here. Assuming I live that long, because this is, like I said, not easy. All of our MIOs have four traits. I still have to assign all four traits. In short, I'm going to pick traits that make equipment cheaper, improve reliability for my tanks, or make my tanks cheaper. Everything that allows me to have more stuff or better stuff is what I'm going to pick. I'm not going to hold your hand through these. I, I don't even know which of these are optimal. I'm not that good with numbers. Why does the console work? Oh, I'm not an Iron Man. So I'll, I'll redo all of this in a bit. Don't worry. Uh, I'll, I'll reload an Iron Man game. And we're back on Iron Man this time. One Field Marshal Army for the uh, river line between Hamburg, Magdeburg and Dresden. And then one Field Marshal between Stettin and Dresden, sticking to hills and forests wherever there is not a river line to cower behind. All units are going to be manually pulled away from the front line, constantly trying to keep them away from, well, enemy contacts. I want these units to withdraw in good order. Collected a fair bit of armor units. We'll probably be deleting the ones that cannot escape and then consolidating everyone else and then we'll see what we end up with. I'll probably split off the Panzer Grenadiers from the actual tanks but again most of these are incredibly low strength and it's not entirely certain that these will be able to fight. I'm gonna withdraw them to the river line front between Stettin and uh, Dresden. We'll see what can be done. Couple of hours of free movement. Railroad, railroad, everyone railroad. Nobody walk. Everyone cruise at maximum speed. Anything that looks like it's not gonna make it, simply going to delete and recover the equipment. I'm gonna start making some conversions of well, moving things into the infantry division template. I am a lot of stuff short, so it's very, very likely that we'll not actually be able to get full strength divisions here, but that isn't gonna stop me from trying. Let's get like a little bit out, a little bit of strength on the line. It's better than no strength on the line, right? Am I right? Overall, pretty pleased with my railway to, uh, <laughs> freedom. <laughs> I think the majority of these troops are going to get out. We have lost the majority of our factories though, so let's uh, wind everything down so we're at least making a little bit of everything. I don't need anti-tank anymore. That can go. I will need trucks and I will need mech. I'll need a lot of mech. I won't really be able to produce much of a comprehensive air force. It's just not going to be possible. Magdeburg has been freed. We might be the bad guys reading these news articles. You know, we, we might just be the bad guys. Here is Gruppe B has surrendered. I lost Model, Harper and Von Zangen. Damn it, Model! The freedom train has stalled, so I'm gonna delete these guys. They're not gonna get out in time. <laughs> this is such a terrible start. It's April. It's April. I'm almost on my knees. Well, now it's a matter of sitting here and waiting for the end. No counterattacks. Just hold 
the line. So far, so good. We've held the majority of the line. So the defensive positions we've chosen are solid-ish. Now let me make some more changes here. I'll remove one more division. So that makes my preferred 21 combat with line unit. Let's just ground the Air Force. It doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, looking at the equipment stockpiles, I am whole, woefully short on everything. Small feedback to the mod developer. If I can fight on to this point and Operation Hannibal can successfully finish, just teleport the units out. Teleport some of the units out. Hell, build or, or have a, an event create a port there so I can get the units out. That only seems fair. Uh, I'm gonna convert all these guys up there to Sicherungsdivision, mostly because they don't need a whole lot of strength to hold up there and I can get the equipment out. Actually, can I just change them to something even dumber? They don't need to be tough to hold there, so if I just make all of these Luftwaffe Feld Division, I recover a lot of equipment, manpower, etc. Well, I think this is it. Berlin is under siege. It, it will fall. Uh, if no more fuel for my tanks, I am proud to announce that Stettin still holds with 55 divisions on it, but I don't think I can win this one. And it's done. The Treaty of Berlin. Looks like Himmler's uh, gone, all right? And Figelein is gone. I wasn't using them anyway. I've had to spam some last stands, but these last couple of divisions are getting out. Okay, now from that tile, we head to this tile. So everything's starting to come together. I'm gonna run out of fuel though, and there's nothing I can do about that. There's nobody I can realistically trade with. Yeah, you can tell by the strength bars here. I got entirely just reinforced memed out of this tile. This is just horrific. Two divisions, maybe six divisions, managed to push uh, about 20 divisions that have mostly full org, simply due to the fact that the reinforcement system is what it is. I, uh, line not not comfortable right now, and this tile's gonna take the brunt of it. I don't think I can hold that tile for much longer. Okay, so I realized I just did not hit record. My bad. We managed to take Palanga, as you saw, and then on to Memel. We've managed to link up both of these encircled armies. That's about 48 divisions. They can make a solid front line now with supply, they make use of the excellent unplanned offensive modifier in most of these areas. I could hold this indefinitely. New problem. So I'm trying to pull units out of the uh, Corland Pocket piecemeal. Yeah, subs, like Soviet subs everywhere. Fortunately, my fleet does have some anti-submarine capabilities. Not sure I'll be able to pull most of these guys out without taking significant damage. They are gonna sink a bunch of stuff. Hopefully not all of my stuff, but they, they will sink some stuff. It is, it is what it is. It's just how how it goes. I'm gonna pull the mech and tanks out first, see how that goes. Then I'll slowly start removing infantry and funneling them over. I'm gonna need more troops on the Soviet front. Like, the Allies are attacking me, but, like, sparingly. Very sparingly, and I, I don't really worry about that yet. Holland's about to go, but I'm the mission's done. I might pull these units out through the ports if I can. As expected, most of these guys got intercepted. The Navy tried. It's sinking some enemy ships, but they all took quite the beating. I lost a ton of stuff. I love how buggy this game is. Italy is quite dead. Qu qu quite dead. But they insist on sending us equipment, and they're very welcome. Thank you. Well, that's the Treaty of Tokyo. That means... Oh, yeah. Japan's very, very much dead. It's uh, another distraction for the Allies gone, so I'm not feeling this. Uh, I'm not feeling... Oh, I'm feeling... I'm, I'm holding. I'm still mobilizing men because I have gone with women in the workforce. I've got my fuel requirements down a little bit because I've converted most of my mech except for these four. I've also put Italian trash on more of these ports. I don't want to get naval invaded. So it's November and it's starting to become untenable. The situation is terrible right now. It used to be okay. The East was under a lot of pressure, but for some reason, the AI in the West, like the Allies, just were not attacking. Uh, just an attack every now and then, but it has been consistent the last month, like non-stop battles. I'm winning them. It's costing me the org, mostly. Like They're taking giant chunks out of the organization because of the massive cast damage. I don't have the fuel to run intercept, and all I can really do is the occasional last stand and drive a tank into a battle that's losing 
just to buy time so I can then cycle fresh infantry into that fight. I don't think I can win this. I've also researched armored trains in the hopes that maybe they won't kill all of my trains if I can get the armored variants in. So I made a change that seems to have helped at least a little. I've gone into my templates and I've gone to the infantry. I've removed the signal companies. I was doing most of the reinforcement, well, troop shuffling manually anyway. I think these are just too expensive in terms of organization and just sheer equipment to justify on, on the defense. Like, yes, the extra reinforcement rate is great. It means you can keep cycling units, but I think we're at a point where I, I have enough units to... Look, I, I don't think it's worth it, is what I'm saying. Uh, units will stay in the fight longer this way, providing more time for additional units to pop into combat, as long as I'm cycling them manually, don't need the signal companies. And then I made a copy of that infantry template and added anti-air. I don't have enough AA to do it to all of my infantry, but I have taken two of the armies in the west and switched them oh 41 divisions and i've switched them over and included aa in the template and that does seem to be helping fend off the tremendous amount of enemy bombing i think i've lost norway the invasions just keep coming i think i should bail on norway i can still trade with sweden let's stay friends sweden and i think i'll just pull all the units out of norway and into the main front Ooh, i don't think i can hold on to norway and there's more naval invasions and now a naval invasion up here. That is actually an opportunity. Guard Rostock again. And we're going to take all of the armor. And we're going to see if we can use that port for some killing. Let's now kill Alborg. And either reinforce the port or use that port to do some killing. Should be able to overwhelm the... Ugh, fuel though. Fuel. <laughs> fuel is an issue. So, hello there. Y you might have noticed that the date is, is quite different from where we left off. Also, that Norway is gone. Guess who forgot that they're hard drive fills up with recordings and then lost a bunch of footage. Not me! So yeah, that happened. I've got all my armor around this one port and every now and then the allies funnel units in there and I instantly kill them. I still don't have fuel, but I don't need fuel to kill the very low org units that arrive here. The main front line is more or less stable. It should hold. I am mostly concerned about manpower. Equipment's fine. I'm stealing a bunch of stuff like here. Then the AI funnels unit in here. I kill it. I steal all of its equipment and halt the advance. And as a result, um, the UK is down to 74 divisions. I've killed more than 2 million of them. The French have lost 1.6 million. The US, 2.5 million. And the Soviets have been throwing themselves at the order line. And they're like, uh, 7 million men are already gone. Meanwhile, I've lost a million and a half. So I have apparently full intel on the Americans. They are down to being 65% supplied, which is good. They've got 7 million men in reserve on service by requirement, so I won't be bleeding to death anytime soon. But the divisions they do have appear to be rather weak, and as far as I can tell, yeah, that seems accurate. Last year, I've lost a million manpower. Half of that to airplanes. Oh, I hate that. I really wish there was something I could do about the air superiority other than adding in more AA. I just don't have enough AA. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce mild success. I have taken a single tile on the other side of the Elba. I think. And I've been able to push the allies one tile. My manpower's just dropped below 200,000. I, I need to do something. I cannot use the tanks. I don't have the fuel to do anything other than to kill whatever the allies uh, decide to ship in there. I'm gonna try to push out slowly towards Bremen and take Bremen and Hanover and sit against that river line and then the, the forests here. That's a big if. I don't know if I can do it. Any offensive has to come from the Western army. It's the only army that has reasonable fighting capability in, because it, it has more artillery and thus more soft attack in it. I'm gonna try. So small offensive is better than no offensive. So let's start attacking. Well, we keep one eye on the east and half an eye <laughs> on Denmark. Uh, I, I need more eyes. We took another tile. If I overextend now, I risk it all. We've reached the point where if I lose now, I can at least say I tried. <laughs> yes, we've taken Hanover. Did I get... Yes! It's like a million man... Well, million. That's like 700,000 manpower right out of that state. Okay, immediately put that to use. Uh, 
queue up some boys. I don't care if I don't actually technically have the equipment. Just, just queue up some boys. Like 30 of the boys. Okay, at least if we lose the state now, I can recover the manpower. Oh, that just gave me another lease on life. It also gave me a couple of factories, I think. Yes, a couple of factories. We're still in this. As long as the east holds, the, the meat grinder in the east. As long as that holds, we're fine. Meanwhile, I'm still taking donations up in Jutland. This is the dumbest thing ever, but I love it. Yes! Oh, an actual real pocket. We have encircled 18 divisions and we are going to destroy them. We stand the chance now. How is our production looking? Okay, so we do have factories again. We have factories. We have manpower. We can do this. That's a matter of weathering the storm whenever the allies uh, want to throw something at me and then clap right back when we're done. We're about to take Leipzig with just the infantry. The massive soft attack does certainly help. Operation Ass Blast. Now we we kill those Soviet divisions squatting there. They should be very exhausted. Should be fine. Get in there. And that is Wilhelm's Hafen encircled. And I'll use the tanks to close it. That should give us control of the state of Vesa Ems as well. That means more manpower, more factories. <sighs> Can breathe again. Oh, I love these tanks. Wherever they go, victory follows. I wonder if I can drive into the Netherlands before they can put units on that port because that has a that 90% modifier. I do not want to deal with it. Sweet. So I'm just going to grab all the land I can here before that modifier comes into play and it works against me. All right, all right, all right. Our Dutch puppet is back on the map. Move these guys into this area here. Run as far in as we can before anything threatening shows up. And they just nuked Amsterdam. That division was practically deleted. Wow, if they're going to tactical nuke me, I'm screwed. Well, that's uh, disconcerting. For all intents and purposes, that division's gone. I don't have the tanks to replenish those losses. Now I need to halt the offensive for a little bit. I need to regain fuel, reorganize the line, make sure I put units on all these stupid ports. Yeah, I think I can use Leeuwarden for the port cheese now. We're actually going to make it to the Swiss border. <laughs> I could do Operation Tannenbaum, but I, I don't think I will. Not even short that many medium tanks anymore. That solidifies it, so it's done. All right, so that is my security corridor <laughs> between myself and the Soviet Union built. Now to just mop up, and then I'll just uh, strip this down to like one unit per tile. Everybody else goes to the main front. It looks like I've hit the Maginot, so I'm not going through there either. Either, either, whatever. Oh God, this looks like a breach. Uh, we might be able to make it to Paris, but I gotta play this carefully. I need to keep the tanks following. I need to keep the infantry shuffling. This is proving quite the difficult hole to punch. Encirclement. We have an encirclement. If it can hold, that is. This whole thing is cut off, but they all have that stupid modifier, which is going to make it really annoying to clean up. And all the tanks, meanwhile, let's head to Paris from the other side. And I'll take Paris and then bring my tanks back north. Oh, I've also just noticed I have somehow acquired three nuclear reactors. I'm thinking from the land I uh, liberated, so I'm actually making nuclear bombs. I'll never be able to drop one, but I got nukes, baby. Germany and nuclear power in 1948. God, I was hoping to have France conquered by now, but uh, it looks like we'll have to take a slow and steady approach to this. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Yes. Maginot encircled. Tanks have absolutely busted right on through. I could send them into Italy, but I'm a bit apprehensive about that, as that gives me a lot of extra ports that will need guarding. Ports I don't want to guard. Instead, how about I rush into France and just go for the soft underbelly, uh, head for Bordeaux, Toulouse, Montpellier, Marseille, like the last couple of victory points I'd need to push the French to defeat. This is also way too many units to be holding the Maginot, I think. How many is this? 33 divisions. And again, I don't know if I can afford to take any of these units off, because there is quite a few units in there. All of them have a level 10 fort. It's just the Maginot no, it's, it's always the damn Maginot. All right, I think this is a good position to hold in Italy. The French are so close to dying. Then we'll drive on to Nantes, Lorient, and Brest. Go there, finish the encirclement. Go there, pin that division. That's... Ooh! Big naval invasion. Imagine overrunning France to this extent after coming from where we were and they're still not giving up. Yes! 
triumph in France. Do I set up Vichy France? France has capitulated, blah, 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 blah. So we just need to mop up the remaining divisions. I think I want to establish Vichy France, mostly because it's a more effective way uh, to get occupation. Yes, establish Vichy France. I think it's just cleaner this way. They're not in the war. I won't have to guard these ports. Submarines already doing the Lord's work here, I see. Oh, this is going to hurt the enemy. This is definitely going to hurt the Americans and the British. Annihilating their fleets with my state of the art torpedoes. Doing it sails the waves again. If I can push past the remains of the American line quickly enough, I can probably get like a decent foothold in like Austria, maybe push into Bohemia even. As I'm getting ready to finally deal uh, a serious blow to Stalin, I should probably work on those collaboration governments. These are going to be really annoying if I don't do them now. Otherwise, I have to walk like here. Don't want that. Green army is pretty much ready to go. I should reorganize a little and get my port guards in a different army. I've sent the Italian troops back home so they can get some of their manpower back, get some of their equipment back because they were really taking a lot of damage. The Italians hopefully start producing some stuff. For now, I'm, I'm not going to focus on Italy. Yeah, we're just blasting through the American lines and there's nobody there. So let's exploit this quickly to the victory points push past this area that all has that really terrible modifier that I really do not wish to deal with. The Soviets are responding, so we'll be pinning them and walking into the tiles of the Sudetenland. So it has forced the Soviet Union to redeploy some of their troops, so the line isn't as thick in the north. So everything is going to be more spread out. I feel like we're doing a good job here, though. All right, so I've gone heavy on the shopping. I'm mostly out of my equipment deficit. I've also reorganized the army, so I've split off all the port guards into one army. Like, naval invasion are coming left, right, and center, so I should probably increase the number of port guards. What I've also managed to do is, because I no longer have a massive deficit of equipment, I've queued up some mountaineers, and if I have any medium tanks, I do have some medium tanks. I'm also gonna put a couple of medium tank divisions into production. Uh, that's about all I can stretch. And we've managed to push the AI away from Berlin a little bit, simply because they are just that beaten up that it doesn't really, you know, they, they they're not really capable of putting up much of a fight anymore, thank God. Yeah, we're actually making gains now. So we're moving the line forward bit by bit. We're also breaking through in the south. Yes, I think. And now the armor has reached the front. Oh, now we're going to tear things up for the Soviets up north. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Yeah, we should be able to trap these units. This is somewhat precarious, but it can still be salvaged. We're in Ferrara, and then we're going to hit Bologna. Launch pinning attacks here as well. Pin them there, pin them there. Keep the tanks moving forward. Oh, we're going to take La Spit. Yes! I need to take a deep breath. I didn't even anticipate this, but this is brilliant. The tanks are now going to use their speed to rush south aggressively. And this whole thing is just one big pocket. I'm going to aggressively crush this and then we'll redeploy some to this line, more to the north, and we start the meat grinder the opposite direction. Oh, yes, that's like a 80 or 90 divisions. 90 divisions trapped with that maneuver. And pretty much all of... Italy is liberated. Oh, look, Pavlich is back on the map. Sweet. What happens if I start up the meat grinder? The north pretty much folds as expected. This holds because of the stupid modifier. Yay, Soviet Alpine line has been trapped. We are within sight of Vienna. That's a beautiful sight in and of itself. We left here five years ago, I think. We're back in Vienna. What a lovely place to be. Feels like total Soviet collapse now. They're really only being propped up by the modifier that's keeping my tanks from crushing them all underfoot. And linking up in Ostrava any second now. Linking. Linked up fully encircled. So the entire center army group of the Soviet Union has been encircled. I'll park the tanks here for now to hold the gap. And we'll need to start collapsing this as soon as possible, really. So you guys attack there. And purple army can attack from the north. And we'll, we'll try to close this once and for all. Oh yeah, we're rolling the Soviet Union back now. 
<laughs> oh. oh, that is a lot of divisions. This is one for the Reddit. This is one for the Reddit. This is just not even a contest right now. Okay, fine. And then we push down here. Purple Army. The entirety of Purple Army is to devote to the Soviet front, and the entirety of Green Army is to be devoted to the Balkan front. Oh, well, there goes Romania. And well, there goes Bulgaria. I have zero war support. Doesn't matter. The war continues. There goes... Yugoslavia. Soviet lines are shattered. They still have 200 divisions left, but 37 million casualties. Fall of Moscow. The end is nigh. And there goes the Soviet Union. Oh god, I'm gonna just get this over with, and then we'll do the math and see what we ended up with. I think with that peace deal, we are done. The Greater German Reich has triumphed over the Soviet Union. Wow, that's a lot of Chinese folk here. We still need to take care of the allies, but that is just a formality at this point. I I do have the fleet required to go and get them. I have an army of veterans ready for the fight. Italy's back in business, at least for now. We got Hungary back, Romania's back, Bulgaria's back, and the Balkans have been set up for the next mess, but I can safely say we're done here. I'd say we won, and I am going to call it here. This is one of the most difficult mods I've ever played if not the most difficult. I recommend anyone who loves suffering, give it a try. Anyone who wants to have fun, please stay away from this mod. It is it's hard. It's painful. A little rough around the edges. But I think I can say I just saved the ultimate disaster. Anyway, if you like this video, hope you'll enjoy the next one as well. See ya. And once again, thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring this video and check out the game using the link down in the description below. It helps support the channel. It helps tremendously. And you receive a large free bonus pack, including multiple premium vehicles, a premium account boosters, and much more. Personally, huge fan of the advanced vehicle damage model. It lets you shoot off individual parts of an enemy vehicle in battle, affecting its performance in real time. Now, I suck at the game, but at least I can look at the cool explosions and the really cool uh, x-ray visions. Anyway, that's it for the video.